the company called Apple? <laughs> that poor five-year-old, okay, that's tied up like a hog. Okay, you know how you tie up a hog and they put an apple in his mouth? They sacrifice that child. Then when they come, as the child is alive. And at the end of that event, there's many children dead. These are the same people that rip babies out of people's womb. These are the demons that we are talking about. And one of them, they, okay, close, okay, close with everybody. Jeffrey Epstein, close with Clinton, close with Trump. Now you had to choose a side. Now they locked him up. You will never hear from him because he got too much information. He was like, listen, wait a minute. Everybody was at the day. Everybody took a bite out the apple in his ass. <laughs> Let me give you names, okay? I got a list of names, okay? Chris Tucker is on that list. Oh. Chris Tucker is on that list. All right, listen, I don't come in here talking about nothing that ain't the truth, okay? This is the temple of the Most High God. Right. The man got his own island, okay? Okay, they call it damn, uh, I don't know what they call it, but a sacrifice child island. That's what it is. And they fly to the mind. You don't see Chris Tucker all of a sudden, one, one minute he was in damn uh, Friday after next, he was a nigga. Right, right. The next minute, damn, his eye, he looked like a pharaoh, man. I was like, what the? Yeah, mascara on, and his eyes were just wide. He refused to tell any more jokes, man. <laughs> I took a bite out the apple in the damn child's ass. Give me 2 Timothy 2.16 real quick. Just real quick. Y'all ain't got to go there. I just, need this. I just need this read. 2 Timothy 2.16. Read it, please. Hurry up. Hurry up. Read it. But shun profane and vain babbling. Read on. For they will increase unto more ungodliness. Read on. And their word will eat as doeth a canker of whom in Hymenaeus and Philetus. Who concerning the truth have erred. Okay, this is, okay, we're not dealing with vain babbling. We're dealing with the truth. Do everybody understand that? Uh. Everybody got that? Uh. Let's go from there to 1 Timothy 2.16. Give me verse 15. Read it. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Okay, so what the Lord is telling you is that, again, we're talking about children and how they sacrifice children and how they use children. And how they want children to be born for their purposes. What the Lord is telling us here that you, again, you're going to be saved from childbearing or in childbearing. Meaning that if you're following the words of God, keeping the commandments, the curse that came on Eve in bearing children, which is having pain while she bare children, that will be taken away. So again, the Lord is motivated. He's inspiring to keep having not planned parenthood. But then they'll take your kids, they'll indoctrinate your kids. They'll teach them to be evil. All hoping that they become runaways. And they got their crews out to find them. You got children that, missing children that was never found. They end up on this island. Jeffrey Epstein. Convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein remains behind bars today on the latest child sex charges lodged against him. Epstein's arrest last week has put the spotlight on a private Caribbean island he owns, one that some have dubbed the Island of Sin. Our Lisa Guerrero traveled to the Virgin Islands for this look. It's your first look at disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein's private island. The only way to get to the island in the Virgin Islands is by boat. And there it is, Jeffrey Epstein's 70-acre retreat known as Little St. James. We've launched a drone up right now. We're trying to get a better look at the island. From above, we see a large American flag. There are multiple structures, pools, and a helipad. Palm trees line the beach. He reportedly had them shipped in and planted at $20,000 per tree. The structure behind me is the main building on this island, and it has hosted American politicians, world dignitaries, and it's also the location that is alleged to have housed these wild orgies. One mystery is this white and blue striped building that looks like a temple. It used to look like this with a gold dome. The wall. Do everybody understand what I'm saying? The war is on. 
So they want to rule forever. Give me go. Let's go back to Psalms chapter forty nine. I got plenty of examples, but what time is it? Look, look at that. It's ten twenty. I can't, you know. I just, time is the enemy. Because I got, you know, I got to go. I got, to, I got to go through. Do everybody understand what I'm saying? This is the gloves are off. The war is on. The Bible tells us. I'm gonna have to speak through a lot of these, and then I will. Um, I guess edit in the scriptures. The Bible tells us that um, that um, the rulers. Let's let, let let me get it. Let me get it. Let's go to Revelation 17. <sighs> all of the rich, all of the elite, they all puppets. All of the uh, billionaires, especially the billionaires, they all puppets. Okay. They all attended these uh, sacrifice rituals. They died. Jeffrey Epstein is a big warlock. He's a big witch. A warlock is a, is a male witch. Revelation chapter 17, verse... Uh, Where are we going to start at? We're going to start at verse 12. Revelation chapter 17, verse 12. Read that for me, please. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings. Read on. Which have received, which have received no kingdom as yet. Okay, see that? They had to deal with the plan. This is the rulers of the darkness of this world. No kingdom meaning they didn't get the glory of being the rulers of the kingdom. They wasn't in the forefront. Nobody knew that they were ruling. They had to rule behind the scenes. They had to rule through deception. So they received no kingdom as of yet where they were honored and glorified and worshiped. This is what they're trying to do now. This is, what, this is why they installed Trump in there. Read on. But receive power as kings one hour with the beast. Okay, they've got to rule behind the scenes. The beast is Satan. they got to rule behind the scenes. Now they no longer want to be behind the scenes. They want to come out in the forefront. Okay, you don't, again, you don't, you, you, you don't listen to Trump. All he does is talk about how great he is, okay? I'm the, I listen, I'm, I'm, I know more than the generals. <laughs> I'm the smartest, I'm the most handsomest, <laughs> Tonight, I'm obsessed with the things President Trump knows better than anyone. First and foremost, as we learned today, he knows more than everyone on Wall Street. I don't think there was one Wall Street genius, of which I know many of them, but they're not geniuses. There's not one that predicted anywhere close to these job numbers. I thought they were going to be good. Not just Wall Street, though. Oh, no, it's way more than that. I know more about the other side than almost anybody. I know more about steel workers than anybody that's ever run for office. I know more about contributions than anybody. I know more about politicians than anybody. I know more about courts than any human being on earth. I know more about renewables than any human being on earth. I understand money better than anybody. I understand it better than anybody. I know more about drones than anybody. I know about every form of safety that you can have. President Trump says he knows more than anybody with apparently one exception. Nobody. Having a drone fly overhead, and I think nobody knows much more about technology, this type of technology, certainly, than I do. Let me explain how the world works, okay? I think nobody knows more about taxes than I do. Nobody knows more about trade than me. I think nobody knows more about campaign finance than I do. Nobody understands it. Nobody knows the system better than me. Nobody knows the system. Nobody knows the system. Nobody knows it better than me. Nobody knows it better. Nobody knows what it means. I know what it means. Nobody even understands why. I think I understand why, but I won't say it. The fact that they are not allowed to do what they see LeBron James doing, okay? They mad as hell, okay? Colin Kaepernick, take a knee. Trump comes, that son of a bitch. <laughs> if you team owners don't control your sons of bitches, <laughs> and people are like, what the hell is that? 
is going on here? What's going on is this is just a puppet. You got one side saying, put them niggas back in check. You got the other side saying, listen, we just made a nigga a black president to deceive. Let's kill him through deceit. You messing everything up. So they're trying to remove each other out of the way. What, what was the chair for Hillary? Lock her up. Lock her up. Hillary called them deplorable. They're not deplorable. <laughs> What's the other side? They're locking everybody else up. Because they still. You know, the first thing Trump did when he came into power is he tried to fire every, every uh, U.S. attorney. That's the top attorney in every state. He tried to fire all of them because those are the only ones with power in this country to lock people up. Some of them are still in place. They still what they call Obama appointees. They still on the bench as judges. This is where you're seeing the struggle. You're seeing the struggle. Each of them are trying to impose their will, but they are fighting each other. The 10 kings, they want to be out in the forefront. We've been behind the scenes too long. We want glory. We want honor. We want respect. We're going to make America great again. Read on. Verse 13. These have one mind. These have what? One mind. Yeah, all of them with Satan have one mind. Read on. And shall give their power and strength unto the beast. They cooperated. Read on. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. Read on. For he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. It's all leading to a final confrontation. Okay, they're going to be beat, of course. Okay. Read on. And they that are with him are called. Okay, and this is talking about us. Okay, this is where we come in at. And the, and the debate on how to deal with us is part of this, supposed to be part of this class. Read on. And chosen and faithful. And he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. They shall do what? Hate the whore. They shall do what? Hate the whore. Okay, you know what the whore is? The whore is America. So these are the ones that are saying, listen, one world government, not one country. The other side is saying... No, I don't, we don't want, I don't want to share this. One country, America, and we're going to make it great again. The other side saying, no, <laughs> listen, every, we got to bring everybody in and kill them through the sea. So what you see one side doing, one side is un, trying to undo everything that the other side did. You made a deal with Iran, rip that damn thing up. You wasn't talking to North Korea? Are we going to talk? Hey, buddy, you're my favorite guy. The other side need the contention. They want, it, they, want it, they want wars. Because through war, look, you know, that's where the deceit is going to be coming in at. Make people believe that they're in danger. Make people believe that they need the government to protect them, so they're going to give up rights. Until they end up destroying. Like I said, I wish I had the time to really go piece by piece through this. These shall hate the whore. They hate America. They want to destroy America. They want to destroy Babylon the Great. And they want to set up, they want it just to be a world government. The other side is saying, no, we want to rule through America. We want to be out in the forefront. And anybody that try to stop us, we're going to kill you. Read on. The end of verse 16. 
and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh read on and burn her with fire okay so this is also in conjunction with the vision that the lord showed me of a missile is going to be hitting america mm. now all this time no missile ever hit america the lord called it a virgin in the book of isaiah chapter 47 how's it going to be able to hit now because they warn with one another it's going to be them that actually do it so the fact that they warn now that means that it's going to happen soon it's going to happen soon okay this is why I'm, again i'm telling you what i know this is why <laughs> what i told you we're going to manufacture this dvd and want everybody everybody have their own copy so that's why all of a sudden nuclear weapons is back in the picture remember it wasn't in the picture the Cold War has ended. Then all of a sudden you got little Kim shooting off nukes. Then you got a ram saying, a ram saying, you ripped up our agreement. Okay, we are you enrich uranium. It's gonna hit, it's gonna hit soon. They shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Read that one more time. Tell them what verse that is. Verse 16. Go ahead. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. These shall do what? Hate the whore. Yeah, they hate America. They hate it. They hate the opportunity. They hate everything. But they want, they buy the seat. They want to be able to get rid of this and get rid of all of uh, the way that the Lord allowed Israel um, and took care of Israel. Like it says in the book of Revelation chapter 12, that they will be nourished for the, from the face of the serpent for a time, time, and time and a half. Read on. And shall make her desolate. Come on. And naked. Come on. And shall eat her flesh. Come on. And burn her with fire. Read on. For God have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast. Read on. Until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Read that one more time. Until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Read it again. Until the words of God shall be fulfilled. You know why this is happening now? Because prophecy has become in the past. And the words of God are fulfilled, so now it's time. It's time now. Read on. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city. Is what? That great city. Y'all know any other greater city besides America? Uh. Read on. Which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Let's go back to Psalm chapter 49. It's already 1030. You know, may I, may I have another 30 minutes, God willing? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Psalms chapter 49. Let me, let's, let's get through this. Psalms chapter 49 verse 11. The words of God is fulfilled. And I'm going to show you what words of God is fulfilled. Hmm. Psalms chapter 49 verse 11. Read. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Okay, their inward thought is that their houses, they, gonna, they think they're going to rule forever. They set up, they deceive like Pharaoh. Hmm. They almighty, all powerful. And no one can deal with them. Everything is a joke. Look at how Trump talked. We obliterate you. You better be very careful. We have, damn wipe you off the planet. We got the mother of all bombs. <laughs> Read on. And their dwelling places to all generations. They, they feel like all generations of their children are going to continue to rule after them. Read on. They call their lands after their own names. Okay, so is this clear to everybody that this is talking about Esau? Uh, huh? Uh, talking about America and the white man uh, that went around conquering everything? Uh, Read on. Nevertheless. What? Nevertheless. That's they in with thought. Mm. That they never going to be taken down. But what? Nevertheless. Read on. Man being in honor abideth not. The Lord said that don't last for long. You ain't going to stay in that position. Read on. He is like the beast that perish. Read on. This their way is their folly. Yeah, this is where their foolishness is at. Honestly believing that there's some kind of way that this is going to last forever. It doesn't last it long enough. Mm. That's why many, many, it is finished. This was told to them by the prophets of the almighty God. Read on. Yet their posterity approved their sayings, 
Selah. Yeah, their posterity, their children, um, back up what they're saying that we're going to rule forever. Read on. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Read on. Death shall feed on them. What's going to feed on them? Death shall feed on them. Who's going to feed on them? Death shall feed on them. Read on. And the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. Yeah, we come in the rule. How you going to live? How you going to rule forever when we come in the rule? Mm. The night is over and the day is coming in. Read it again. Verse 14. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them. And the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. And the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning. Everybody see that, right? Uh. Okay, read on. And their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave. For he shall receive me. Selah. Okay, what the Lord is saying, what, what uh, is saying through the prophet is... We're going to be delivered from death, but they're going to die. Mm. And they're going to continue to die. Do everybody understand that? Oh.